Oh, adventures with his family he's seeking. From Fort and Weather telling stories wherever he goes. It's the Ezra Speaking Show. Hello, everybody, and today we have a IU specialist. Come on in, Miss Olivia. Hey, um, so Miss Olivia, can you tell us about yourself before I get started? I can. Yep, I'm Olivia, and I am a child life specialist at IU Health Arnett Hospital. My job is to help kids who are scared and don't understand the hospital understand what's happening to their bodies so that we can help them feel better and we can make sure that they know what's happening to them. Okay. Alrighty. Well, we're going to start with our 5 day, our 8 day forecast here. Uh, can you tell us the first three days? I sure can. Four. Four. I got you. Yes, I sure can. So today it is 80 degrees. It's beautiful. And then tomorrow it looks like it's going to be 76 and kind of cloudy. On Saturday, it looks like we have a little bit of a chance of a storm, but it's going to be 78 degrees and beautiful. And then on Sunday, it'll be just a little bit cooler at 55. Okay, and yes, on Monday, we have 56 for the high, 41 for the low. And on, we have Tuesday, 63 for the high, 38 for the low. Um, next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, it's going to be a little bit colder. Uh, th Tuesday, 63 for the high, 38 for the low. Wednesday, 70 for the high, and 43 for the low. And on Thursday, partly um, so on all these days, it's partly cloudy, uh, 67 for the high and 51 for the low. Okay, so um, we came over here just for some questions. Mm -hmm. um, well, what do you like most about your job? Ooh, that's a really good question. I think what I like most about my job is helping kids go through hard things when they didn't think that they could do it. Well, that is great that you can help kids um, in, in, in your job. Right now, would you like to see some of the stuff that I brought to yes. show you? What sort of tools and like techniques do you use for like doing your helping with kids? Yeah, for techniques and things that I use, it just depends on every kiddo that I work with. Some kids are babies, right? So I, I use different things for babies than I would a teenager or a kiddo your age. So for a baby, I might have like rattles, I might have pacifiers to help or them. Or a doll. Well, maybe a doll, maybe not a doll, just because they're so little, right? Mm -hmm. But for a toddler, somebody who's like two years old, a doll would be perfect for yeah. them. And then for a person your age, I might have things like a stress ball. Have you ever used one of those? Or a fidget? No. No. I've used a spin A, a fidget, spinner. those are pretty fun, right? Spinner fidget. Yep, might use one of those. Might have books that we can look at, do yes. I spy. Maybe even have an iPad with some games we can play on it. Yeah. Lots of kids do really good for procedures if they don't watch it. But some kids like to watch. Everybody's different. Mm -hmm. So what I'm there for is to help them know what's going to help them best. And we can figure out what might help them. So playing a game can sometimes help. Taking deep breaths can sometimes help. I have like a pinwheel. Ooh. Give it a give it a blow. See if it works. Maybe. There we go. Perfect. This can help kids remember to take deep breaths during their procedure, like getting a shot, because lots of times they're really, really worried. So that's why we use a pinwheel. Other things that we might use are I spies. So in here, there's all sorts of different things. See, and then even talking. So sometimes we'll talk about what yeah. they like to do for fun. Like so what we're doing right exactly, now. Exactly, just talking to each other and that can help them. And sometimes we'll play games with talking. So I have this set of cards that I really like to use with kids and it gives them choices and it kind of distracts them from what's going on. That might be a little stressful mm -hmm. for them. Cool, so there's all sorts of questions in here that we can talk about. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. So now that we've talked about all of these different things that mm -hmm. we can do to help when kids are scared and getting a procedure, do you want to do a procedure on your doll? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah? The one we started. You started decorating this doll. Let's see if you can get it a little bit further. I think I picked out a name for it. Ooh, lay it on me. What do you got? George. George. Love it. All right. So what we're going to do, I'll tell you while you're drawing, what we're going to do is an IV. Have you ever heard of an IV before? No. No. So have you ever had a blood draw before? No. No. Actually, 
Yes. You have. What was that like for you? It was, it was okay. I it think. was okay. All right. So before we get started, let's talk about what an IV is, okay? So an IV, I'm gonna actually show you on my name tag. An IV is a little Ooh. bendy tube. You can feel it if you want to. Super bendy. It's it a little bendy. straw. Yeah, really bendy, right? And this actually works like a straw inside your body too. So we can get blood from you to see what's going on with your body, but we can also give you medicine and fluids to help you feel better. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? What kind of questions do you have so far? Well, I just would like to know how an IV works. Yeah, absolutely. So the very first thing that we do is that we tie a tourniquet, which is a really fancy mm -hmm. word for a stretchy rubber band, mm -hmm. on George's arm. And then the next step is to clean it. It's would like, you like to clean the arm? Yes. It's kind of like a wet wipe that you have at yeah. a restaurant. You've seen that before, It's like huh? an alcohol wipe. It's exactly an alcohol wipe. You've got it. Perfect. Okie dokie, are you ready to get yes. going on our IV? Yes. All right, oh. so I have a job for you. When it's time to do George's IV, I want you to hold on to his hand over here. Right here? With one hand, yep. And then I also want you to rub his head just as a reminder that you're here to support him. Does that sound good? Mm hmm Perfect. What else do you think could help him for this? Oh, let's have, let's have him like maybe squeeze one of the balls. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Perfect. So what we're talking about right now, sometimes it can help kids to go through stuff like this so that they can create a plan for themselves mm -hmm. when they have to get a poke. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna get the IV ready to go and you know your two jobs, can you remind me? Mm -hmm. uh, hold on to his hand mm -hmm. and pet his head. Perfect, sounds good. So, gonna be super gentle and we said we wanted a countdown, right? Mm -hmm. So one, one two, two, three, three. poke. And then we take out that poke part and all that's left is that bendy tube that we felt together. The last part is you can help me with this sticker if you want to. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna peel that off and then this side, can you put it right on that bendy tube? Oh, Perfect. I've, I've got, I'm, I, my papa's done this before. Oh, you've seen one before, that's awesome. Very good and you know what, George did such a job, good job holding still, don't you think? It's not always easy. And then he has his IV, and we can help give his body medicine and make him feel better while he's here at the hospital. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. And then this rubber band doesn't need to stay on there. Do you want to try to take it off? Mm -mm. Okay. Just pull that one, and it might pop off. There we go. Awesome. Awesome work. Will There's that come off, George? Mm -hmm. This one will come off, George, when it's time to leave the hospital. Mm -hmm. Good question. Just like with kids, when it's time to leave, the IV will come out, and what it feels like is taking off a sticky Band-Aid. Pretty cool, huh? Yep, now we can help his arm, or now we can help his body feel better. One of the other things that the nurses can do is sometimes they'll take a little blood from their body to see what's going on and why they're sick. And they use what's called a syringe. Oh, have you ever seen yeah. one of these before? Yes, you I have. Yes. Are you ready to look at the last thing I have to show yes. you? Yes. All right, let's walk over to it. What do you call this? We call it the Vecta or the bubble machine. Mm. And it's really cool because it lights up different colors. Uh -huh. And we even have these really cool strings and they light up different sparkly colors too. And the they best light part, up the same colors as this. They well, do, yep, and sometimes different because we have a remote that we can use so ah. kids can push it and change the colors of the oh. tube. Wanna give it a try? Nice. And we can even combine colors. So if you tried, um, Red, blue, and yellow all at the same time, it would make Red, pink. Red, blue. Ready? We'll hit it together. One. Three, two, one. There's pink, did you see it? So cool. <laughs> and this machine also plays music. I know, it's really snazzy, isn't it? So we've got music, and we have CDs that kids can pick from if they want it in their room. Oh. I know, in our little doggy. So there are CDs in there that they can pick from. And we can play music. And this helps them with stress. And it can also help them if they're in pain because it gives them something different to look at. We can take this anywhere in the hospital because it's on wheels. When do you use mm -hmm. the Vecta versus some of the other cool yeah. items? Mm -hmm. 
So sometimes in the hospital, remember that kids come in and they're hurt. They can't always move mm. around. Yeah. Sometimes they're really sick and they're too tired to play with things like this. So sometimes having something to look at where they don't have to do a lot of work is really helpful. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, so since you are here, we always give a special gift to our guests. So I would like you to have your own oh. ever speaking journal. Thank you so much. So fancy. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yes. Um, before we do, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for talking to me, too. All righty, everybody. Thank you for joining us. And thank you for that as well. Thank you for joining us. Please subscribe to Ezra Speaking and f um, follow the IU Health page. And we'll see you guys next time. Please give this video a like. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Also, that first weather we did, dude, I don't know if I read it right because I'm not that good at seeing far away. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> it, it was high and then low. Okay. The highs were at the top. Hopefully but you I did, got it right. You did perfect.